It's Friday Eve. So, I hope y'all had a great, wonderful um, hump day. I know that 9-11, the anniversary came. So, um, I know all of that. So, I'm kind of feeling under the weather. You know how you can feel your throat and you kind of like feel like you're about to get a cold or you're about to get a sore throat? That's where I am right now. And I'm like, I hate it because... Uh, I'm gonna drink me some um, some hot water. I'm gonna get me some um, um, the, some honey, and um, oh, I'll be in in a minute. Some honey, and I'm, I'm gonna get rid of the the sore throat. So bear with me, but I had to bring this to forefront. Okay, Queen Sugar, season four, the season finale episode. 13 okay first i want to give a shout out to brown girl blog um food foodie beauty she um put a video on youtube she has like this i think a book um like a book review or something like that and queen sugar is actually a book i did not know that and um, I downloaded the book on Audible. I haven't read it yet, but I'm so excited to read it. Um, from what I saw, it's nothing like the show. Micah is a girl. And, you know, that's for one thing that stood out to me and some other for other few things. So if you all want to check that out, I think that would be an interesting read. Also, check her channel out. Um, like I said, her name is Brown Girl Blog Foodie Beauty. Okay. So, uh, first thing, Micah and, and, and mom, you know, she comes in and, and gives a, um, she asks for a piece of the sandwich, you know, just to show a good favor, peace offering, peace offering of the sandwiches. He apologized for the way that, you know, he said that he was going to Xavier and she apologized for the way that she acted, you know. And that was just in time because after that a knock came at the door, no other than the sheriff department coming to lock Charlie up. So they locked Charlie up, saying that she had um committed arsony on her own meal. Come on now. I mean really y'all rid ridiculous. She already told you in questioning that um She's a very wealthy woman, so she does not have to do that. So, but they 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 locked her up anyway. So they're down at the police station, and Ralph Angel is upset. You know, Ralph Angel's like, man, this is some bullshit. You know, he walking around I'm like Ralph Angel. You better sit down, but you get locked up now. You better you better hold your horses now. You better calm down. So um, they were able. To, Charlie got out of jail. You know, apparently she wasn't in there but a couple of hours. You know, her hair wasn't even out of place. She tried to put in a little ponytail and the reporters and everything were outside. So we already know that that has something to do with the uh, Boudreaux having something to do with that. So she went to it. She went towards it head on. You know, she went outside and she told him that, um, you know, she was being set up and she also said that the sheriff was under investigation as well. And um, this was only a ploy to try to stop her campaign. She wanted everybody to still get out there and vote. And she walked away. Mm, like a boss. Yes. Hey, now. Um, uh, bye. That favor that Mr. Old Sam Landry was supposed to come through with came through. He came by with like a stack of paperwork, you know, and apparently he said that to make it authentic or whatever, Charlie had to get locked up. But Aunt Vi was like, "Why did she have to get locked up? You know that that, sh that couldn't that shouldn't have happened." Also, in the middle of that, um, we also learn that Sam Landry has a black daughter by a lady named Betty. Um, we don't know the daughter's name. According to Vi, she was like she lost touch with her 15 years ago. And um, last she know, she went to Spelman and uh, I think she went to some other school. But she was like, she hadn't heard anything in like 15 years. Hmm. Really? So in this information that Aunt Vi had, she goes and she gives it to Charlie. Um, 
Charlie and the Nova are at the house and come to find out these are a bunch of financial financial sheets um, about this person named um, Hank Miller, the person who I believe in the previous episode sent him money onto offshore accounts. Um, also, methods to flag insurances. Like just all of this information, all this stuff that she had been doing, the checks and the balance in the books and offshore accounts and all this information was given to Vi. Vi gave it to Charlie. Charlie did use it to her advantage now. So next scene, you know, we have um, Nova and her new cop man and um, she introduced him to the family. Now, I was a little skeptical now because they in the commercial, you know, you saw that, you know, everybody looked like, what? You know, but of course, um, Vi, you know, came at him with open arms. She gave him a hug. And then the next test was um, was Charlie. You know, Charlie was like, okay, do your thing, do your thing. And then um, Michael was like, mm, okay, I'm going to give you a try. Mm -hmm. Nova, I mean, uh, Rap Angel wasn't here and he's still cleaning up. He looked like, oh, okay. Anyway, next. You know, still, you know, um, what's his name? Uh, Rap Angel still ain't, he the last one to, you know, forgive Charlie. So, they're at the um, diner watching the results come in. At first, Charlie is down 3%. And everybody's there, you know, they're like, oh, and, you know, they're sad. And Charlie says, no, 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 no. You know, even if she lost, she still won because giving them a run for their money is justice enough for me. But then, boom, she won. <laughs> okay, then, then she won. You know what I'm saying? But she just had to get that little speech so everybody would be riled up or whatever. So, you know, um, Raph Angel and Darla, they make up first. They opened the box from Granddad, and the box was a um, a beach ball. You know, I'm like, oh, okay. Beach balls don't deflate. <clears throat> Sorry. Beach balls don't deflate. So, that's pretty cool. Okay. And it came from Granddad, and it was a little sad moment for Blue, you know. So, they had their moment. Another moment came when Rap Angel was ready to forgive Darla. Now, like I told you, I was like, I don't know if I want them together. But but I do know that if that incident did not happen with Blue, they would have been back together anyway. So it was, as me seeing the scene and seeing them, you know, come to terms with each other and say, showing their uh, passion and showing their love for each other, I kind of was feeling the emotions myself in my heart, deep in sight. Yes. So it was really, really nice. So now that they're back together, and uh, now that they're, they're back together, so in a ways, you know, with Charlie in the book, it helped, you know, because some of the, you know, like she was saying, you have to go, you have to go through these things, and that's what I tell people all the time. I know it hurts, and I know I need to take my own medicine. It hurts, but you have to go through these emotions in order to, you know, pass them, and in order to move on, and in order to be a better person. Um, Hollywood, Hollywood finna come up with a wang spot, you know, him and Vi, they have a little moment there at her house and they cooking up food, uh, and, um, he has some nice hot wings and she like, baby, you should have your own food truck. And he was like, you sure? Yeah, baby, you can do whatever you want. And that was a cute little scene with them. So Hollywood, just let us know, pick in Hollywood life. He living good as usual. Um, after Charlie wins. Charlie meets up with Miss Francis. Now, there was some um, some iced tea on the table or whatever. And here she come. I took the, the liberty of ordering you an iced tea. I don't want no iced tea from you, bitch. You can keep that on over there. I don't want to drink it. And I was like, Charlie, please, please don't drink that iced tea. Please. Because she put it up in her mouth. And then once um, Francis started talking about still building the expressway and you know what efforts and what help it can be she put it down thank you Charlie don't drink it don't drink it so you know she's talking to her next thing you know the police come in they're like Miss Francis we finna lock you up because of that fire you know she set it up and come to find out it was two other people who actually set the fire 
and Francis had something to do with those two people. So when the police came, they pulled the handcuffs out and she said, I dare you put those on me. You know, okay, mm -hmm. go on. You know, little raggedy lips. Anyway, so next scene we have, Charlie gets a call to come and meet. Her name is Parker Campbell. Parker sounds like a, I mean, it looks, sounds like a male name. So she goes to the office, so she goes to the office. And she sees this white guy, and she's thinking that it's him. No, no, no. None other than, is it Amara? Amara Van, a.k.a. Steen from Underground, a.k.a. The Lawyer from How to Get Away with Murder. Those are just the only two shows I saw her on. She might have more works. I don't know. But when you see her, and when you see her character, you know. She means business. She is a boss. You hear me? So now, it's going to get juicy. They set us up for the next season. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that right there got me when I saw her. And I saw her on Instagram, too. They were taking pictures together. I'm like, okay, what's she going to do? So, she tells Charlie that she is a community relation. She's a community community relations. She's a lobbyist. She is one of the people who is trying to get the expressway to come into the parish. It surprised Charlie to see that it was an African American woman. First of all. Second of all, this woman is wanting the expressway. Something that Charlie does not want or something that's the reason why she was on the city council anyway. Well, Miss Parker explains to her, since um, Jacob Boudreaux did not come through, you know, they know that he's not strong. And even Mama said, you know, Mama was like, I know he wasn't strong enough. And we just, he, but basically, Jacob was a pawn. Okay. So we learned the real truth about what Mr. Landry, what, what Sam Landry was doing. Is Sam and Francis sister and brother? He, um, Parker also says that, oh, she's not going to be in jail that long. She was like, yes, she will. She was like, oh, no, you won't. Parker calls her daddy. None other than Sam Landry is her daddy, the girl who was in Spelman, Betty's daughter. Can you believe that? What? Mm, mm, mm. He said, I kept her away for a reason. So, in, in other words, he really played Aunt Vi. In other words, what happened, he meant for that to happen. He set it up that way. Ain't that something? Ooh, they so dirty. So dirty. He said, yeah, I knew I knew Vi would take the bait. And we were just trying to get, you know, um, we were trying to get Francis out of the way anyway. I was like, wow. I haven't seen a, a, a twist turner like this on this show in a while, I was like, whoa. So, Charlie, here go another one. And another one, like DJ Kelly. So, that set us up for next season. I don't know what to say about that. I mean, it's like, once they saw that Charlie was about to run, they decided that that would be in their favor. They got all kind of cards that they pull, you know? So last but not least, um, Nova goes back to the house again to try to apologize to Rap Angel one more time. What happens? Rap Angel says, get your, get go, get away from here, get away from here. So she has a journal of her mom's, her mom's journal. And in the journal was, um, this recipe for some type of ointment, some angel ointment that, that she would put on them when they were kids. Um, it's also a letter in there. It's also some flowers that she really adored. Nova tells Raph Angel that mom is buried on the land. And despite of what you heard about her ashes being, you know, uh, 
by her being cremated, she was not cremated. She was buried on the land. And he was like, well, it's a spot where Blue Play is, some flowers over there. You know, them the same flowers that Mama liked. And they went to talk to old Prosper. Prosper knows what's going on. So uh, that brought Nova and Raph Angel together, the moment with their mom. You know, it's such a, that was like a real bonding moment for them. Um, so uh, they found the grave. And amongst that, we see um, Micah is in college, and I think his girl is going to T Tusculan. She's going to stay in um, Louisiana. And then I guess Micah going to be down the road. Um, Vi and Hollywood together forever in love. Um, Charlie, she has her portrait of her, the new city councilwoman. Um, Nova's writing her story about her mom, about what she's learned and everything, bringing it all together. And, um, who know, none other than the mother. Mama brought Mama had to bring everybody together and let them know, you know, um, a mother's job is never done. She may be gone in flesh, but her spirit will last forever. And she will always guide her children by any means possible. Daddy has his place in flesh and in spirit as well. So, that really touched me because being a mother, you know, it took, even though she is not here, she was still with them in spirit. And you must always remember for people who, you know, lost their parents, always remember that your mother is still there. Always do things in remembrance of your mother. Everything that you do, think about your mother. It will make you powerful and it will make you stronger because you ain't going to disappoint your mama. Thank y'all. Have a good night. <laughs>